Hi, this is Val with Living Divine. If you are new here, welcome. And if you've been here before, welcome back. Please feel free to subscribe to this channel, like and share uh, this video. And if you have any questions after the video, please leave them in the comment section. So we're about to start this 12 week weight loss, fitness journey challenge thing. Um, I'm actually starting mine today. I'm totally kind of redoing my diet uh, and I'm starting that today. So one of the things I did was put a poll out to find out if you guys would prefer me do videos in reference to weight loss and the weight loss challenge or would you prefer live? Well, 90% of you guys chose live. So I also put a poll out asking kind of the dates, uh, the days and the times that will work for you. Um, unfortunately, all I had was the morning. Um, so I did, since most people can jump on, on the weekend, I did Saturday morning, Sunday morning, which would work best. 75% uh, of you said Saturdays at 10. So I will commit to doing a live uh, Saturdays at 10 o'clock, every Saturday at 10 o'clock. And that live will pretty much consist of just kind of talking through any challenges that you guys are having. Uh, we can kind of support each other, be each other's support system, walk through and talk through some of the things that you can do to kind of tweak uh, your diet during this time. And understand that the 12 weeks is just the beginning. That's as long as this challenge will be. But it really is just the beginning of a health journey. It does not stop at 12 weeks and then you go back to the same eating. So what I'm going to say, the biggest thing during this 12 weeks is to change your mindset about foods and what you can take in and what you can't take in. Things of that nature that cause you to gain weight. I've often said that I know why I gain weight. I don't accidentally gain weight. I'm anytime I've gained weight. It's because I'm not um, prepping my foods. I don't have good quality, healthy foods available to me. Not because I couldn't go get them, but because, you know, whatever circumstances were happening at the time via the move, the snowstorm, whatever was going on, I was not able to get to some good quality foods. So when I gain weight, it's usually I start drinking wine. Um, I start eating a lot of carbs. And I can kind of break down what um, what happens to the body when you do a lot of carbs or you do, uh, you know, wine or things of that nature. Because ultimately it all turns to sugar, then sugar turns to fat. So that's ultimately how you end up gaining weight. But I can kind of talk about that on the live if you have any more questions. But for from now until um, this Saturday at 10 o'clock, Give me the questions that you have in reference to weight loss. I'm going to give you a good guide to go on between now and then. So I would say start your journey as soon as possible, but you can wait till next Saturday if you choose. Uh, but start your journey as soon as possible. Please make sure you guys are healthy enough to go on this journey. Uh, if you have not talked talk to your doctor, please do so. Um, and, and again, the stuff I'm giving you are going to be suggestions, things that I know have helped me, have helped me maintain my weight over long periods of time. So I'm going to give you a couple suggestions, things to work with. And then if you have any questions, you can, of course, put them in the comment section or, and I can talk about them on Saturday or I can respond as soon as I can, um, in reference to your comments. So one of the things during this 12 week challenge is really try to stay below, or at or below uh, 1,200 calories. So uh, if you exercise, you've got a little bit more room to play with that. But try to stay, do 1,200 calories as like a guideline. And this is just for this 12 weeks. And of course, you can kind of navigate it and change it around a little bit if you choose to. Uh, but that's a good uh, baseline. Try not to eat any starchy carbs during this time. Um, and I mean like rice, pasta, uh, breads, try to limit uh, your intake of those uh, foods. Also, get away from snacking. I know it's hard. Uh, somebody gave me, had a comment saying that they're a grazer. The problem with grazing and not sitting down and eating a meal is that you really are losing track of how many calories you're taking in during the day. You know, I might eat a little bit here, a little bit there, a little bit there, but at the end of the day, I might have, you know, have taken in 23, 24 2,500 calories as opposed to having set meals so I can kind of know what I take in. 
during this 12 week challenge, I'd also challenge you to uh, not eat any fried foods. Um, try to um, not eat, eat any like blackened foods if it's blackened with like butters. So we want to kind of stay away from all those extra hidden calories uh, that are there. I do a lot of grilling. Um, I bake, I prefer grilling though, uh, but I bake and uh, I pan sear, like using Pam or something of that nature. I do that as well. So try to stay away from the um, high butters, uh, all fried foods, all whites, which means, uh, like I said, potatoes, rices, breads, things of that nature. And try to make sure you're upping your protein. I've gotten comments with people saying they are... Um, vegetarian you know there's tons of um vegetable that have a uh, high volumes of protein in it you'll just have to eat probably more of them like broccoli and spinach and things of that nature so you can still do it you can still up your protein without eating like a meat substance i'm a meat eater I i'm just going to be a meat eater that's my thing but there's ways of doing that so we want to up our protein uh get as much uh fibery veggies as possible and uh, some good ones, of course, is asparagus, uh, broccoli, spinach. Um, cabbage is great, but it you know it, it does have kind of a sugary, um, some higher sugars in it. So, but I still eat that as well. So try to up your um, your vegetable so you can keep everything moving, and try if you can to not eat past let's say five to seven o'clock in the evening. Try to get whatever you're going to eat before then um, and try the, so your body can digest and kind of process all the food that you've eaten through the daytime. So if you could try, I try to stop at about six in the evening times uh, when I am eating consistently. But try for this next 12 weeks, if you can, to kind of break habits as far as uh, not eating, you know, right before you go to sleep and things of that nature. So try to give your body at least a two hour break before you go to sleep um, to actually stop eating. And the next thing is try to get up and move, move something. Um, right now, me and my husband, we moved to, um, we're renting this house because we're actually in the process of starting the, this business or getting this business up off the ground. And where we moved to, there's no gym within, I want to say, last time I kind of Googled it or wasted, probably about 30, 40 minutes away from um, where we are right now. And I'm not driving 30, 40 minutes away from the gym, but I am going to continue to work out. So I came in this room. This is our makeshift uh, gym workout room. So uh, we have weights over here. I have my Peloton bike over there. And even if you don't have like this kind of equipment, you can do body exercises. And I can kind of tell you some, you can do calisthenics. You can walk in place while watching TV. So there's a way to burn calories. We could walk around outside. There's a way to do things, even if you don't have access to a gym. So uh, don't get comfortable with, well, there's no gym near me. There's no gym near me either. I do have equipment, but there's no gym near me. So just kind of figure out a way to actually work out. Um, I work out almost seven days a week, uh, but I would say a good meter is five to five to six days a week. Your body will need kind of a break so you don't get burned out during this uh, 12 week challenge. So even if you're walking in place for 45 minutes, do that. Uh, walk around the neighborhood. Just get your body moving to aid in burning calories. Because the whole goal is to get healthier, to uh, take off, you know, whatever additional weight that you have put on during this time to help strip that off. So what I'm going to do during this 12 weeks is I'm really, and I kind of went cold turkey last week is when I started, um, but I am actually for the next 12 weeks pretty much just going no carbs at all. And um, I'm not even necessarily doing a keto because I'm going no carbs and almost no uh, healthy fats. Now, what I'm going to do is force my body and it's really hard um, eating regimen. So, you know, if you choose to uh, walk this journey, understand that for a while you will be exhausted, your body will be tired. But once you get over the first couple of days, your body starts adjusting. So for me, I'm doing this to force my body to um, 
use the energy source that I've already have in me, which is the extra fat or whatever, use that for energy. So I'm doing that understanding that what I'm doing right now is not sustainable long term. So after I get past this 12 weeks, I will either I will gradually um, go to keto or go to a um, really healthy low carb but still high protein diet i haven't decided which one i'll do yet but uh as far as being able to sustain so this for me is literally just for this 12 weeks because i'm trying to get instagram fine i'm just telling y'all i i am my instagram game is not where it should be you know i'll do pictures like of my hair or something of that nature but i want to be instagram fine right i want to be like damn you're not just I want to do that. So, <laughs> and I want to do that in a short period of time. So I'm doing this uh, 12 week challenge just to do that. Now, whether I choose to be on Instagram or not to do that, that's a whole nother story. I just want the option, right? And also, uh, for some reason, people seem to think because you're older or you're getting older that you have to get bigger. And that's not necessarily the case. What actually happens now, it is a little harder and it's a challenge. And some things you could have eaten when you were in your 20s, you can't necessarily eat when you're in your 40s and 50s, not and keep the weight off. Because what happens is as we get older, we start slowing down as far as our movements, as far as our activities. So if your activities are slowing down, but your eating is staying the same, of course you're gaining weight. So what I do to kind of combat that is I um, make sure that I continue to move. And again, this is whether I'm on the Peloton or whether I'm at the gym when I can get to the gym. Uh, now I can't, so it'll be Peloton or it'll be walking or it'll be running. And I'm not a fan of running, but I do what I got to do to burn the calories. But what I also know is I can't take in the wonderful carbs that I like. I can't take those in and I have to get off sugar. So those kind of things I have to adjust as I get older. It doesn't mean I have to get uh, necessarily bigger, but I know most people get very comfortable with the mindset of, well, if you're older, you're getting bigger. I don't own that as my story, but I do get that it gets it gets harder. And you have, you're dealing with menopause and all that other stuff that comes in as you get older. So it gets a little harder, but you just have to adjust it. So that's what I'm in the process of doing right now, adjusting everything. So, you know, I can look the way I want to look. And I will tell you when I am... Um, in shape and when I um, my weight's down and I can fit into my clothes, I actually feel so much better. My blood pressure's um, in a good place. You know, I, uh, my sugar levels are in a good place. You know, so all of that kind of attributes or contributes to uh, health. So that is my goal. You know, I don't mind getting older. I just don't want to look it. And I've said that all the time. I have no problem. Uh, telling people my age, but I don't want to look uh, like, yeah, I can tell you much older. And I'll tell you a quick uh, story. I went to the store uh, yesterday and I picked up some um, wine, you know, um, to bring to the house. And this girl's, you know, it was like one of those self checkout kind of things. So the girl was like, okay, so I need your driver's license. I still get carded. And that's, um, a blessing in some areas, but it's frustrating in some areas when you're in a in a rush. But to, on the flip side of that, if they stop carding me, I think I, you know, my feelings would be hurt. So I, you know, I take out my driver's license. And she's looking at me like, oh my God, you're at 55. I didn't know. I'm sorry, whatever. No, no problem. You know, thank you so much for the, I take it as a compliment. Well, the lady right on side of me uh, was getting some, some alcoholic beverage and so she took out her uh, driver's license and the girl, and it was a younger girl, she said, no worry, I don't, I don't need to see your driver's license. So the lady looked at me and she said, uh, they carded you at 55 because I told them I was 55. She's like, I'm 42 and they didn't card me. She's like, I don't know if that's an insult to me or a compliment to you. So, you know, and I made her feel better. I was like, you look, you look great, no worries. Uh, but my thought process was, yeah. At 42, when you're not carded at all, she says she's never she never gets carded. Uh, I would have given her much older as well. So, and but I think some of that attributes to kind of how you carry yourself. And you know, to me, when I'm bigger, nobody ever cards me. When I'm smaller, I get carded all the time. So again, I just don't want to look older. I want to look. I don't mind looking like an. Um, 
a seasoned <laughs> older woman, but I want to look in shape and I want to look good. And I want to question, I don't really don't know how old she is. That's what I want. And that is my goal. So anyway, we're doing this challenge. Uh, I'm really excited about it. Any questions that you have for me between now and Saturday, please put them in the comment section. I will um, look at them and answer as many questions as I can on the live. But if I have, you know, if you have like real specific questions, uh, you know, comment in the comment section as well. So thank you so much for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. Uh, also, me and my husband, I'm working on a video that we posted in reference to Clay's journey. Please go over there. Uh, we only have that one video up, but I'm about to put another video up uh, probably today. So please go over there and subscribe as well. Uh, we're going to talk about the business and where we are with uh, trying to get the business up and running and some of the um, the heartaches of doing the business. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching and I definitely will see you on a live on Saturday.